Well, the Route 66 Marathon drew in more than 10,000 people to Tulsa this weekend, and organizers say folks came from six foreign countries and represented every state in the U.S. News on 6 reporter Aaron Conrad spent the morning at the race and found that even people who live with this city in their backyard had no idea Tulsa is such a hidden gem. It's the start to another day of the Route 66 Marathon and a tour of Tulsa for many, like this group of relay runners with the 486th Civil Affairs Battalion Army Reserve Unit who train in the area once a month. Typically we're out at Sand Springs or in the hotel room. Sometimes we go out to Camp Gruber for training and we'll be out there for the entire weekend. Sergeant Tull says the marathon is a great way to get in some team building and get out into the community that he and the others serve. Thank you guys, thank you. And that much like his hometown in Texas, he says the city of Tulsa is doing big things. Tulsa is very similar and it's coming back in a lot of the same ways Fort Worth is, which is great to see. It makes an environment where you can have better pedestrian traffic, you can have events like this so that people can get out in the community and, and exercise and be healthier. So I see a lot of great things here and we'll uh, be interested to see how it grows over the next years. It is, Tulsa is kind of a growing town and so it's kind of a happening place and so there's a lot more music going on in Tulsa than in Oklahoma City for sure. Go Tull by yeah. five seconds! And others with the reserve unit say it's not just what they've seen in the city so far, it's the people they've met along the way. Very supportive, a lot of encouragement and I mean just strangers are nice to you, That's it's nice to have. Nice to have, especially when crossing the finish line, making the Route 66 marathon a big success for some of the men and women in uniform that get to call Tulsa home every now and then. It was fantastic. Everyone did great. Aaron Conrad, News on 6.